Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to uh, perform V-neck peering using Terraform. So as discussed in the previous videos, uh, you, uh, we are going to deploy an application architecture or provision an application architecture using Terraform. And this is the application architecture. But in high level, we, we see in the previous videos, we have deployed two virtual networks we created using Terraform. One is with VNet uh, app-C India and one is vnet uh, hyphen admin c india so if i go here so we have this but we haven't established any connection between that and in azure the connection we call connecting two networks is called vnet peering so let's perform vnet peering using terraform at this video so i'll go here and i'll actually say azure vnet peering and uh, i can go in directly with the first link which is terraform dot uh, ter registry dot terraform io and uh, here we could see how we can perform vnet peering as both the networks are in central india it's going to be a local vnet peering if it is in a different regions then it's going to be a global vnet peering so here i'm going to look at the example usage for the within the network and we see that we have created networks and we have to perform vnet peering so i'll copy this and i will go to a new text file and i'll copy this and paste it here and one minute peering as for terra hyphen admin and one is for so we have to create two links as per the vnet peering point of view so if you see this concept we have one link from this network to this network and one link from this network to this network so these are the two links we actually are creating it and let's name that as peering uh, the name of the virtual network is and we are peering it from admin uh, uh, to so the other network which we have is vnet hyphen c india so we are peering from vnet hyphen admin uh, to vnet hyphen c india so this is the naming convention we are following and similarly we'll use the same naming convention here and mention so we are creating a p again a link and that name that link we are naming it as peering vnet app c india to vnet admin c india and as here if you see the resource group name it will come under this one terra admin so i'm going to copy it here and the virtual network if you go and look at it it is terra admin which virtual network the virtual network is terra admin virtual network so that's why this is the network we are linking that to the remote virtual network and that remote virtual network is this one Terra hyphen app. So, what am I trying to do? So, I need to get the resource ID of this virtual network ID, a uh, virtual remote virtual network which I'm trying to connect. And if you look at it, the way you can refer to it is Azure RM virtual network dot Terraform hyphen app dot ID, and that is what you're seeing. Azure RM virtual network dot Terra hyphen app dot ID. So, we are referring that one. Now, similarly. I would like uh, the resource group. This virtual peering should be created in the this virtual uh, in this resource group, and that resource group is Terra. It is coming under the referencing of uh, Terra hyphen app. So that's the reason why the naming conventions are being given as per the uh, uh, application and workload and what uh, uh, respective uh, uh, location and everything. And the virtual network is. As for the app, it is the same thing, Terra hyphen app. So I'm going to name it as Terra hyphen app. And uh, the remote virtual network ID, that is, this is the remote virtual network that is for this VNet. So when you're going to VNet app, see India to VNet, this is the remote virtual network. And if you look at that remote virtual network, this is the referencing name in Terraform. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it. And this way, a peering will be established between two virtual networks. And I'm going to name it as peering.tf. 
now if you have a difficulty in understanding why are we trying to peer and what is the what is the concept of peering see uh, when you wanted to connect two networks we name it as peering we term it as peering in azure and uh, normally when you see it in uh, uh, you go into the virtual network and you see here options you see in a virtual network peering and you click on add then you have to provide a peering link name and if you see that is a peering link name i gave so from vnet hyphen admin c india 2 so i'm in vnet hyphen c india 2 i'll give it uh, vnet hyphen apps hyphen c india and similarly i have to mention uh, another peering link name the way i did it here from vnet app c india to vnet c india and i have to mention which virtual network i wanted to peer that's nothing but the remote app id and uh, I'm going to click on add. This is going to help us in terms of creating peering links. Now with the same thing we are doing with Terraform right now. So I'm going ahead, I saved it. So I have to just do Terraform plan or I can actually just validate in terms of syntax. Is it right or not? And if it is right, it shows me success. Then I do a Terraform plan. Then it should show me that uh, it will create two resources. One is of which, which is named which is actually peering because the rest of the resources are being created in the previous videos. So two new things only will be uh, either more, there will be a change in the, okay. So as we have the uh, uh, state file and everything, now we are seeing this changes and everything, but here, uh, now if we look at it, Tax is the only one which is changing and now we see the actually I have uh, so these are all modifications only now if you see create it's going to create two peering links between the network and that is what you're seeing the rest is actually just changing in the tags and everything so we are not getting into that right now at this point of time I will uh, say terraform uh, apply auto approve and let's see the deployment when this is done we are actually seeing we are not seeing anything at this point of time peering either of this vnet but once the peering has been completed we will be seeing uh, links uh, and the status has been connected between the two networks so let we, let's wait for that. So it's going and creating the links. So the deployment is going on. A peering link for Terra of Terra hyphen app has been created and is going and creating a peering link between uh, in the Terra admin. So what was that? This was being completed, which is a link between from VNet app C India to VNet admin C India. And similarly, it is going and creating a link from admin C India to app C India both were been completed i can go right now i can click on refresh and i could see a peering from vnet app c india to vnet admin c india and similarly if i go into another virtual network which is admin c india and i look at peering i have vnet c admin c india to vnet app c india so this is how a peering has been established. Now machines can communicate between each other if they don't have any NSGs which are restricting between communication between virtual networks. So this is good to go. So we have successfully deployed it. So let's uh, in the next videos we will try uh, we will work on uh, configuring machines uh, in virtual subnet and similarly in the admin subnet. Uh, 
and we will configure the application gateway internal load balancer in the upcoming videos thank you